Hi, can you hear me? Hi, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. I literally this morning, you're not going to believe this. I'm actually moving today. Um, and uh, good morning, everybody. Hi. And so it's like one of the, it's a crazy day. But um, anyways, I didn't hear back from Benji and he assumed that I assumed it was happening and I didn't hear back from him. And so I assumed, oh, maybe that wasn't a good day for the fans. So I just planned on like moving this morning and everything. Anyways, I'm literally driving on the high. Oh, someone can't hear anything. Can you guys hear me? Or am I just telling, am I just telling stories to Luna? Um, okay. All right. So anyways, I'm literally driving on the highway to like, you know, with my car full of stuff. There's a mover in front of me and I see Benji being like, Hey, like, so it's all set. I'm going to be like 20 minutes late. And I literally texted the, the moving company. I'm like, Hey, are you guys good to just move this stuff in? <laughs> And so I turned around and, um, anyways, I'm like a mess right now, but I turned around and came back to where I could have a hopefully quiet stream. Anyways, <laughs> so I appreciate you all being here. Thanks for hanging with me today. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for wishing me luck with the move. It's so I don't have too much stuff right now, um, where I'm at. So hopefully it's, it's not going to be too stressful, but. It was just ironic that I was literally like on the highway being like, doo, 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 and then it was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm supposed to be on a stream in like 15 minutes. And so I like whipped around. Um, anyways, okay, guys. So I just first of all want to say um, several thank yous. Like the response to Inner Gold has just been so cool. It's been so fun to see you guys, you know, your comments on either my videos or like, um, you know, other people's videos, like the comments that people made on the video of Hunter Hayes talking about how he found his inner gold or the comments on the music video. Just you guys are so insightful and it's so exciting to create content for people that are excited to dive into it. You know, like seeing that you guys are like, oh, this is what it means to me. And you share with me your thoughts. And it, I feel like it teaches me things It teaches each other things. So anyways, that's been it makes it so rewarding. Um, I keep seeing people say they cannot hear. So I really hope that, um, you know, anyways, but I, I hope we're good. I'm going to trust that we're good. Um, cause most of you say that I'm okay. Um, I'm sorry for those that can't hear. Um, but I guess that doesn't make sense to apologize cause they can't hear me. Um, okay. So second thing I just want to say thank you about, and I, I know I've already messaged and said thank you about this, but you guys, you did so much cool stuff for I Have the Untold Her. I was like absolutely shocked at how, like how much you guys brought to the table in terms of creativity and the content. And so anyways, I just like literally was blown away. Um, so thank you so much. I'm sorry. My manager's texting me something. Press. Um, I told her, I was like, I'm busy right now. Okay. Um, so, yes, Zane of the Untold Story. Um, also, I enjoyed all the reaction videos. I've seen some reaction videos, obviously, from I Have the Untold Her that were just, like, so heartwarming and just, like, literally like brought me to tears and then seeing some of your guys's reactions from um inner gold has been really cool as well so just I, I just appreciate your support so much um and then um because of that i just wanted to see if you guys would be interested in doing another like i i don't expect you to go as hard as you did on i have the untold her because you guys worked so hard and i i i wouldn't want to like push you guys any harder than you want to go so um i just wanted to See if you were interested in doing a brainstorm to think of some fun ideas for inner gold, because, of course, um, it helps so much as an artist to have other people creating content with you, you know, and you guys are like my team. So that's why uh, that's why I thought this could be fun. Um, some of the I think the easiest ideas are that um, if you just kind of are looking for some that are just a little bit more like fun, um, let me save this draft I was working on. 
Um, but I think some of the, like on TikTok, filters are always just really fun and easy. And by filters, I mean the ones that are like, you know, the one that turned my skin gold or the one that turned my eyes gold. Like, um, that was one, the one where I just had my eyes closed. And then when the chorus hit, I opened my eyes and they're gold. And it's just kind of fun to do a filter that like does something interesting to your face. So that was a fun one. That's pretty, pretty chill. Also, I saw some of you did this filter and these are all on my page. If you go to my TikTok, you'll, you'll see these, these little devils. But this one where you're trying the gold versus silver filter on is kind of um, fun. Oh, so quiet. So, yeah, you're seeing if you have inner gold or inner silver, which is kind of fun. So, um, and also those are just like cool. Or any of the color wheel ones where people are trying to find out what their color is. That could be a cool one. So filters are always just a good you know, it's quick, it's it's simple, and it's kind of fun. There's a couple other filters I found that were cool, too, that I might post. So anytime you see me post a filter, please feel free to jump on board and make sure you just tag the inner gold sound. Um, other ideas um, that I saw some of you kind of resonate with, um, actually, the, the biggest one that I saw people really connect with was the one where I talked about how... You know it, how important it was for me to learn to look past limiting beliefs and not real, not rely on outside sources or external things to make me feel good about myself, basically. Um, you know, and by doing so, it helped me really find my own inner gold that was deeper. Um, and so I talked about aging and how like beauty sometimes is something that gives us worth and it makes me feel special. But it's like as that you know, you realize that that won't last forever. And maybe people even started to call me old or whatever. And, you know, it, it just made me really realize um, uh, that, gosh, I got to look deeper. I can't rely on this forever to make me happy. And I think I'm going to post another one that's just about social media, you know, how the numbers and the, you know, looking at the view counts and all of that stuff can sometimes make you think that that's where your worth lies. But then when the algorithm algorithm isn't in your favor suddenly it's like oh you know like what is important like you really have to rely that like that's not where your worth lies isn't in these numbers and isn't in likes as, as wonderful as they are like you know it's in something deeper um i loved what hunter hayes shared i asked him like how have you been able to look past like limiting beliefs and find your inner gold and um if you look on my instagram he shared a really powerful story about how you know he was working with people that didn't understand his art and he they they never anything that felt good to him you know like the label would tell him like no that's not good and so he started to feel like this this terrible feeling which would be heartbreaking as an artist that anything he resonated with probably was bad um and it's like it was like this conditioned trained response that he had to like train himself out of so anyways um i don't know i just thought since so many people resonated with that one, um, I was kind of surprised that that was a video that people really gravitated to because it was just me like sitting there talking. Um, but yeah, I, I thought you guys might be interested to jump on that as well. And, you know, and I'm aware that not everybody wants to talk in front of the camera. That's a vulnerable thing. And that's fine. This is why I'm just throwing out ideas. Um, and you guys can let me know, like, which ones you want to talk more about, which ones you want to brainstorm more about. Like, um, yeah, I'm loving seeing these comments. Yes, Hunter was what I needed to hear. Thank you for sharing that, Lindsay. Yeah, I think a lot of people, I was, I saw people saying that Hunter's story, like, made them cry, like, Lenka is saying that, you know, and, um, yeah, and Stephanie is agreeing that it's, it's really important to stay grounded on social media, you know, because you're going to put yourself into that, that microscope of the world, um, whether it's big or small you have to be ready for people to share what they're going to freely share and you have to realize that your worth doesn't rely on it so um can we use text on screen oh that's a great idea lanka because yeah i'm like i know that not everybody's gonna feel comfortable like sitting there and talking in front of a camera but if you just put like the song and then put some text on a screen and you could put you could put just a plain backdrop if you want um you could find a photo. It doesn't even have to be a photo of yourself. It could be a photo of like gold, you know, like beautiful sparkly gold. Or if you're talking about like social media, it could be a it could be a picture of a computer screen, you know. Or if you're talking about 
looks. It could be a blurry picture of someone's face in a mirror. Like, I don't know. You can get creative with an image if you want to put an image there. But um, I think there is something fun about, like, someone, Ganger just said, gold. Or, or Rafi, a photo of Luna. Um, but I just think it would be really a cool thing if, you know, we made this kind of a, a campaign about um, speaking truth and about accepting ourselves where we're at and about loving the truest parts of ourselves rather than the parts that sometimes, you know, you know, the, the, the things that we've learned give us our worth, which honestly is usually never the truth. You know, it's, it's interesting when you peel back the layers and you realize like, actually just me being me is what gives me worth. You know, me, like my kindness is what makes me feel connected to people, not my beauty, not my money, not all these other things, you know? So, um, so I, yeah, I think it would be really cool. Okay. This is really empowering thinking about limiting beliefs and challenging them head on. That's a really good way to say it. Thank you so much. I have the inner rainbow. Um, this was really empowering. Thinking of limiting beliefs and challenging them, he challenging them head on. That's why I chose to study mental health full time. Oh my gosh, amazing. To experience that discomfort and come out of it a happier person. Honestly, like writing something like that and putting it on, a, you know, um, an image or a video, like that's great, I think. You know, just whatever the, these these conversations or these posts are making you feel like put it in text or say it i think that that would be a really cool thing to start to like use our community to spread light to spread goodness to spread gold um and uh let's see i'm sorry i'm gonna keep reading these there's so many things that limit us looks age self-worth jobs dreams absolutely yeah jobs and you know success or like fame is such a diff uh such a illusion you know I, i've had to learn i can't rely on you know this idea that my worth comes from people knowing who i am and you know that's really not what it comes from like that's not why you guys enjoy my art that's not why you enjoy connecting it with me it's not because the world knows me it's because you've resonated with the art i create on a personal level and you know so all these things are just they're very dangerous they're wonderful but um Okay, I remember the Brave Enough video submissions and the YouTube, yes, that was so cool, and the YouTube video of, of the videos. I remember submitting one. I had some free time um, on base, and it was so, and I was so nervous, but glad I did. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you for submitting. That video was really special, and I know that it impacted a lot of people. <clears throat> people who know you, yeah, people want to know you, who you are, because they resonate with your music. You are only limited by yourself. Yes, so true. You know, I think that what, yeah, whatever these conversations, whatever these videos are making you feel about, yeah, this idea of looking past the limiting beliefs that you have and going a little bit deeper, or like looking at the things that maybe you've put too much in life. And like, I love how it was said, but I think King, he said, you know, and then facing it, head not, on, like, not being afraid of it, not hiding anything, anything underneath it anymore, realizing that like, um, that, that there's a truer part of yourself that is more sustainable. Oh, night. Sorry, not King. <clears throat> um, I was bullied, bullied in school and even after school. So that's hard. That's had a huge impact on my self-confidence amongst other things, but this album feels is really great it's going to help me find inner gold that i need oh my gosh that's thank you rafi um that's also a really cool thing to say that you know rather than focusing on maybe like what i did so far was saying like you know talking about a, a source of confidence that wasn't real and then realizing where a true source of confidence was but i think that's a really powerful angle that so many people relate to where you say this is something that hurt me and like made me not realize that i had worth and now I'm realizing that I do, that, you know, I think that's really powerful. Um, I've always struggled with my weight and I've tried to lose it, but it's so hard, not just because the way I look, but for the health piece. Yeah. I mean, weight is also such a huge, there's such a huge problem in our culture around weight. And um, I even think I might do one talking about that because it's something that has greatly affected my life and my mental health because our world is very sick when it comes to weight and the perception of it and that we're supposed to be a certain thing and it's one thing if it's making you feel a certain way it's another thing if you're like wait is it just because you know and and having to figure that out is it because other people say i should look different or is it because i want to feel great like you know and i don't feel great 
it's interesting to try to weigh that back and forth in your mind, but I know it's a battle that almost everyone deals with. Um, <clears throat> what a love, what a lovely and very lo needed message. I think this will be a really beautiful campaign. We all have our loud demons that are, sometimes scream so much that we can't hear the fairies. Oh, that tried to sing the beautiful songs. Sorry for being a little poetic. I love it. Be poetic. I think, honestly, I think captions like that, you know, being poetic about it, writing it out. Oh my gosh, I think the movers are here to pick up some of the furniture. So don't mind if it gets really loud in a second. Luna's going to start barking. Things are going to start moving. But we're going to keep talking for a little bit longer. Because this is so good. It's used as a weapon against people in a hurtful way. Yeah, we all have inner gold screaming to come out. It's so nice to remember, uh, to be reminded to look. Yeah. <clears throat> inner gold was the first video I posted where I knew it wasn't perfect or even close. And I just was out of time. But I posted it anyway to Facebook friends as well. I was so overwhelmed by the amount of support that resulted from it. Jim, that's amazing. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, the interesting thing, and I'll share, I haven't shared this yet with, um, you know, anyone. So I thought that would be a cool thing to share here is, um, so my album Duality, it's basically, you know, about the two, conf it's about the fact that we have conflicting sides of ourselves. You know, sometimes we feel so confident and strong. Other times we feel so weak and scared. And it's like, I'm the same person. How can I, how can I have both these things inside of me? Um, and I, I wanted this album to be about like accepting all the different pieces of yourself, choosing which ones you want to make stronger and which ones you want to try to forgive. You know, all the pieces are, of ourselves come from experience. They make us who we are. And we should never demonize any part of ourselves because, you know, she's part of me. Even the scared version, even the, even the version of me that's selfish sometimes. Like, she's still a part of me. And being able to say, hey, we're not, we're going to forgive this part of me. Or we're going to try to honor and grow this part of me. You know, I think that's what I wanted the album message to be about accepting and loving all the different pieces of yourself even though they're so conflicting um but also even in the music style i kind of made two different sides to the album and half the album is super cinematic with this like dramatic sound like i have the untold her and then the other half of the album is very like kind of fresh and new and modern like inner gold and the fun thing about it though is both sides of the album the songs pair up and so Eve, or um, I Have the Untold Her, its pair song is actually Inner Gold. They're both written about the same thing, but from a totally different musical perspective. I Have the Untold Her was written about trusting your inner gut. No matter what anybody else on the outside tells you, like no matter what the world tells you about yourself, like believe what your inner eye, your inner voice says. Then Inner Gold is all about the same thing. Like, don't listen to the the drumbeat of the world. Don't listen to what everybody tells you. Like, trust your inner gold. Um, so they're both written about the same thing, which is really fun. Um, and so any also any of the feelings or the ideas that I have the untold her made you feel, those really those relate to this song too. It's just a different musical approach. Um, but that might help you dig into the well and the album a little bit more once it's out to kind of find the pair of songs and be like, oh my gosh, this does make me feel that. Oh, so does this one, but in a completely different way. Like I have the untold her to me feels a little bit more like the fighter, the like the earlier version of myself that was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna fight and it's like and inner gold is a little bit more almost the mature version of myself that's like, oh, like I'm still gonna listen to this. I need to remind myself constantly to listen to this. It's a little bit more the at peace version of myself, um, you know, but it's still about the same thing. Anyways, um, so yeah, I I cannot wait to see what you guys share again, because I think the world needs more positivity. The, need, the world needs this message, because like I said, it was so cool to see how many people resonated with just me talking about aging, you know, and how many women were like, thank you for sharing this. Um, and so I cannot wait to see what you guys share, whether you talk, whether you write something poetic, whether you put a quote, whether you share your personal story. Um, I can't, I can't wait. Sorry. I think the movers are coming in. Luna's about to bark. Um, <laughs> Luna, come here. Come here, baby. Hi. Yeah. Luna, come here. Come here. Yeah. Luna, this is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Life. Hey, how are you doing? You're here to move stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm just finishing up a little meeting, but feel free to start taking stuff out. All right. Hi. Let me grab this little creature. You're good. You're good. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I should. Ask. Thank you, Holly. I should ask everybody what they think of. And tell me, what's your inner gold, sir? While you're moving that couch. Um, but yeah, this is really cool to see all of your guys' thoughts. I loved seeing, you know, literally some of the things you guys like posted in the chat about like, you know, being bullied or like from Rafi or Lenka with her poetry or like, you know, Knight talking about their your journey with learning about mental health. Like I'm like, these are perfect things. And um I think just say whatever speaks to you. That's what's gonna be authentic. That's what's gonna ring true. Um I'm finally working to believe I have inner value as a person. Mm, and that's a beautiful place to start. That's a um I think you'll be shocked as you go on this journey and as you keep working on it what it brings to you inner gold is definitely an up uplifting for a single person it made me see some of the things about myself be positive light um myself worth being one but the best part has been that i used to share it with others oh i love this do you need me to move over there oh uh, this is very loud okay yeah i'll just i'll just no i'm sorry i'm i'm totally in your way so i will just scoop scoop over here. Oh. That's Luna. Oh, Come here, Luna. <laughs> Come here. Okay. <laughs> Andy, she's not going to bite anyone. It was really funny. So I've been in a rental while I was, you know, kind of in between places. And so the rental was already furnished. Um, that, which was really nice, but it's funny because I think Luna thought all of this furniture was hers, like the couch. She's like, that's my couch. That's my chair. It's my bed. Um, and so when people came in and started taking stuff, she was just like, wait, no, but she was not happy about it. <laughs> um, Luna is working on her inner gold. Yes. Um, <clears throat> house tour just after the last minute, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going through a journey myself and excited for this album to come out and I'm excited to relate to them. Thank you, Kit Kat. Um, oh wait, do we get a house tour now that it's empty? <laughs> it's almost empty, yeah. Um, let's see, actually be moving back to New York this year. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, that's exciting. That is really loud. Um, okay, so I wonder if I come over here. So it doesn't really help at all. Okay. I think that's the idea I was the most excited about. Um, but uh, I also like this one where I, I just screen recorded on my phone. So I screen recorded on Instagram stories and I just f went through filters and filmed, you know, switched through all the different filters. And then I ended on just my face with no filters. I don't know. I really liked that one. I thought it was really nice because we all get so used to seeing ourselves and everybody else through their filters. So I thought it was just, and it was really easy. I literally went to Instagram stories. I pressed screen record on my phone. And then I just swiped through like some of the pretty filters. And so I thought that was a really cool one. And then just ending on like, you know, I'm, I'm accepting myself. And, you know, I, I put a little bit of a personal post in it, but, um, you know, just talk about how personally I've made the goal to not use filters. That's a personal goal. I don't judge anybody who uses filters and I did it more for myself. So you, like, you don't have to say anything about that, but, um, Lenka, that's a good one. I tried filters once. They're a bit scary, but also a really good idea too. Um, yeah. So just showing like, cause everybody uses filters and it's just like, we're presenting something to the world that's not real. And so I think, um, oh, I'm not saying you should try filters. I'm actually saying the opposite. Um, <laughs> I mean, not saying you shouldn't use filters, but the point of the video was showing that filters can be deceiving and kind of, I think they can be kind of dangerous. And so the point of the video was like showing myself with all these beauty filters, but then ending with me as just me and showing like, I'm going to choose to love myself just as me and not feel like I have to hide it. Um, that your true inner gold comes from you, not from the filters. Thank you, Lacey. That's a perfect way to say it. 
So yeah, and I think that's a perfect caption. My inner gold or like, you know, or I'm enough even without the filters, you know. Um, and then, you know, inner gold. I don't know. I think that one would be really, I would love to see other people do that. And I, maybe even it would inspire other people outside of our community to either be more open and share about their struggles or, you know, sh be brave enough to show themselves without filters. Because some people get so used to filters that they get scared to be, you know, show their real self. But I love what Lacey said, that that your true inner gold comes from you, not from filters. Um, Stephanie says, being more open and out there with my own music was a struggle for a while. The inner critic spoke loud and I didn't feel good enough. That's really good. That's really powerful. And I think so many people can relate to that. You know, if you share a story like that. Um, and Jacob Kelly saying this is going to be a bit of a challenge personally, but it needs to be done. <laughs> It needs to be done. You know, and I never want you guys to do anything that you're not comfortable with. This is me just sharing some of my ideas. You're always welcome, of course, to do whatever resonates with you. And if it's something that you're like, I don't feel like I'm in a place right now where I'm ready to share that. That's totally fine. Like there was a long time where I wasn't comfortable sharing yet about some of my struggles. Like you have to be okay first with the process before you share like you don't want to ever overshare so please don't share anything that you're not feeling really comfortable about sharing i never want that to happen um can i just say how i'm reading lenka's comment can i just say how awesome it is to be chatting with you like this i still cannot get over it sorry i'm a distraction and i think inner gold might be a similar topic to i've told her like things that we love doing our favorite hobbies and so on yeah no, you can totally take a similar approach to like the kind of things that you did with I have the untold her. Um, oh, I do, Rafi, I do love the dog filter. Oh, I'm working on my second children's book, self-published and written for my kids. And this has been a great motivator. It's scary putting something you love out there in the world and I'm introverted. So I have to push myself even harder. Um, yeah, I love that. And I think sharing that, like that, hey, part of my inner gold right now is being brave. And realizing that I do have something to offer. Um, mad masking to fit in to be exhausting. Being brave enough to follow and let my inner gold shine is an, an ongoing journey inspired by Lindsay Stein. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love that. For, I love those first two sentences, though. The being brave enough to follow my inner gold and shine is an ongoing journey. Masking to fit in is exhausting. Um, that's really, really cool. Well, it sounds like shadow work and that's never easy but worth it in the end yeah it is honestly it's about facing the maybe the parts of yourself that you're like oh I'm a little, i didn't realize i was a little bit afraid of that i didn't realize that that's a part of me that's maybe a little bit um dark you know we all have it and you know facing it but again i just want to reiterate that like i i don't want you to share anything that is too uncomfortable like a little uncomfort is good but like you should be in a place if you share something, you should be in a place with it that it feels empowering, even if it's scary. And also, you know, you have to realize that you can't control what people say on the internet. So you, you have to be good enough with the thing you're posting that even if the reaction isn't what you heard, you'll be okay. Luna, Luna, come here. Luna, come here. Um, she, <laughs> it's fine. She's just chasing a chair. Um, I'm sorry. That is so loud. Can you guys even hear me? Oh, I thought of buying some of your makeup and letting my daughter do a makeup tutorial. How cute. Um, thanks, Lacey. Thanks, guys. Um, oh, you don't hear anything else? They're wrapping a couch with, like, saran wrap, and it is so loud over here. So, yeah, I guess this is filtering it really well. That's good to know. Um, and, okay, so, yeah, I love the, and I think that I have the untold her. The ideas I thought of for you guys were a little bit overcomplicated and, you know, 
like I brought all these ideas that had like editing and stuff like that. And I think that I'm excited about these ideas because they are they're they're a little bit simpler in terms of the execution, but they're a little bit harder in terms of the depth and content. So um yeah. Okay, discomfort is definitely part of the journey to find oneself in your gold, but I agree with you. It should be really painful. Yeah. Yeah. And I like, thank you, Knight, because I know you said you've studied mental health and, and you know, Brene Brown talks about all the time, she, you know, that vulnerability is becoming something that's honored in our culture and it's seen as a good thing. Um, and it is a good thing. But when you do it before you're ready, it can be harmful to the person. You know, if, like if I had shared about being anorexic before I was mentally ready for it, that could have been really harmful to my progression. I had to wait till I was in a good place with it, till I understood it myself before I just went and like shared it all over the world, you know? Um, so anyways, that just, it doesn't mean you have to have it all figured out. You just have to be like, I'm comfortable with where I'm at in this journey. I understand where I'm at in this journey. And, um, you know, so anyways, just, I, I just want to reiterate, um, uh, Luna should have her own mini violin. Um, I used to not want to share that I'm autistic, but as I get older, I become more comfortable with sharing that with people. That's really cool. That is really cool that you've like learned to be like, see that as a part of you and that it doesn't have to be just because maybe there's a lot of people that don't necessarily understand it. It doesn't mean that it's a, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You know, a lot of the pieces of ourself, it's like, sometimes we're just told that we're supposed to be like everybody else, but then it's like, well, what even is normal? nobody's normal everybody's got quirks everybody's different everybody's got things that make them great and things that make us have to work a little bit harder in life and so i think it's really cool that you've learned to see that this is just this is just a piece of me just like you guys have pieces of you you know um i have an audition for love on the spectrum that show mm, i love that show so so beautiful like i i honestly wish we could all be a little more sincere when i watch that show and a little more honest um so i think like literally all these things you're talking about are so powerful and i think you know and if you i just want to say if you decide to like talk about it like on screen just make sure that you're loud enough and you put the track volume low enough so we can hear you you know hear a little bit of the music but make sure that we can hear your words. Um, and if you do talk, I'd also recommend using the in-app captions. You can, you don't have to, but in TikTok and in Instagram, there's a, you can YouTube or Google how to use captions in there and it's in the app. So, <laughs> and if I'm not loud enough yet, um, so yeah. I would also love to hear, are there any other thoughts? Are there any things that you've seen me do? There was also um, just kind of a fun one I, I did where I found a bunch of things that made me feel like that were from my life that were golden. And I said, the more you discover your inner gold, the more you'll notice it all around you, which I, I think is a beautiful idea of life in general. Like the more you have gratitude, the more you'll see good, the more, but yeah, the more you focus on your inner gold and your own magic, the more you're going to see. And so I just took a bunch of clips of my life that made me feel either there was gold in the image, like actual gold, or they were just like happy moments filled with like warm light. So that was this one. So yeah, and I just, I just cut it like, and I just did that one in the app. You know, I just put a bunch of images in and just kind of shortened them up. So Eric, not enough screen time. <laughs> I've used that clip of him in like several videos because it's so good. I just like randomly stick it in videos. Um, Stephanie says, favorite quote, happiness does not depend on outward things, but on the way we see them. I love that. Yeah. And Jacob says, this topic is so timely. I have so much to share. And I just hope it can, I, it can some, help someone else um, love themselves better. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of this. 
Um, I know it has been brought up plenty of times in the chat, but when do we get official Sterlingite Pirate at the Party t-shirt? We could make a design. Each country can find their own printer. Oh. Yeah. Maybe Benji and Lacey and I can talk about what the best way to go about that would be. Um, so, yeah. Love inner gold. I'm a plant man and I hope to inspire others to be themselves. That's beautiful. Um, oh, another idea. I haven't done this yet, but I'm really excited to do it. And I'm just going to, this is probably the last idea I'll throw out. But I want to um, do a couple of videos where I just highlight somebody else. And I just talk about, you know, who someone I see inner gold is, is this person. And then I'll like show some pictures of them or some little clips of them while I just talk about why I think they have so much gold in them. Um, but yeah, that was an idea that got me excited. And I could just talk like there's, I don't know if you've seen her. There's this woman who is a dancer and she, she went back and started taking dance classes in her like fifties. And she now like, she like trains and she she danced in music videos now and I, she's just such an amazing example of like thriving at any age and not letting like i'm sure that was really scary for her to go back and be in a dance class with a bunch of like young professionals in la you know but she did it and i i just was like no that is a woman who has inner gold and she's i mean we all have it but she's like showing it she's proud and she's awesome anyway so i I want to do a couple of videos where I'm just like, hey, this person over here, they have a lot of inner gold and I, it's made me better by watching them share it. Like, so, and it's inspired me to show my own inner gold, you know? Um, so, um, I thought that was kind of a fun one. Um, <laughs> there might be a lot of videos about you. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, oh, Mage says, I've been thinking about going to community college, but I feel like I'm too old at 34. Girl, you are not too old. I even remember at BYU, there was like these two older ladies that were like, you know, 50s and 50s or 60s. And, you know, they were in some of my classes. And I just remember thinking that was so cool. Like, I wasn't ever like, weird. What is she doing in here? You know, it was like, oh my gosh, this woman is coming here because she really wants to learn. And, you know, anyways, it was really inspiring. So, you never know who you'll inspire, but also you're not old. You're 34. <laughs> um, so anyways, so yeah, those are kind of my ideas. And if you want, I can kind of write them out and we can post them in there so it could remind you. But I think, um, you know, doing shout outs about other people. I love the filter one where it shows you going through filters and then being like, hey, like, I don't need a filter to feel like I have value or to feel like I have something, you know, like my inner gold is past that or my minor gold comes from being me okay what Lacey said not what i said so i like the filter one you literally just screen record um uh oh i love that benji says the person taking the student placement at my job is currently 32 definitely not too late um and then um the other idea I love so much is the one where you guys like either through quotes or through poetic ways or through text, you tell your story of just a way that you have, you know, maybe struggled to see your worth and the way you've really realized where your true inner gold comes from, you know, or that you're ready to start finding it or that you have found it. Um, but kind of like the limiting belief and then where you've gotten to is like a cool, you could text it, you could also share it. Um, but also some of the quotes you guys were just like writing out here, they were just beautiful, inspiring about like your perspective on this whole thing. So I think that that's really cool. Um, so yeah, those are some of my biggest ideas. And of course, there's always, if you just kind of want a fun one, you can just use some of the filters on TikTok that like the gold eyes or the, the gold or silver filter. Um, so yeah, anyways, those are, those are my thoughts. But um, thank you so much, you guys, for hanging with me today and being so patient as I'm like <laughs> on moving day. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. I'm like so relieved that I saw Benji's email. Um, so Benji, I, this was my fault. Um, I didn't hear back from you. And so I was like, oh, maybe it wasn't a good time for everybody. Like maybe we'll have to, you know, plan another day. And then I just saw your email this morning as I was on the freeway and I like got off the freeway and flipped around and like got home, like, or got back to this place, like, 
two minutes, you know, I was like a few minutes late, but I was like, well, thank heavens. I didn't just miss my own meeting that I planned. Like that would have been really bad and embarrassing. And I would have felt so bad for wasting all your time. So anyways, I just really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you, Benji, for being awesome and arranging this. Um, thank you, Lacey and, Land and Landy. Andy, thank you, Lacey and Andy for kind of taking point on this. Um, I mean, Lacey, do you want to, just you want to come on and say hi at all? Like I, I don't know if you've talked at all. If you if you're in, not in the mood for talking, that's fine too. <laughs> I did just ship you. It'd be AC and Landy, the cute cute little ship couple. I love you so much, Lacey. You're so funny. <laughs> the ship has sailed, says Rafi. <laughs> No, ben Benji, this was not your fault. I think it was a miscommunication, a bad assumption on my part. And, you know, I I should have assumed it was happening rather than being like assuming it wasn't. So um <laughs> Andy, and if you hadn't showed up, I would have just filled the time talking about my inner mold. <laughs> That's the weird Al Yankovic version of the song. Um, I don't think my mic is working sadly, but I love you, says Lacey. Well, everybody would love to hear from you because we love you too, but totally understand. Um, but yeah, thank you, everybody. Um, I think that's it for me. So anyways, I, I, I can't wait to see what you guys share. I, I think it's going to be something that's really powerful for a lot of people and it's going to inspire people. So, um, and as always, make sure to tag the official sound, you know, the one that has the the artwork on it not the um the unofficial sounds that are floating around so make sure to chip tag the official like inner gold sound on both instagram and tiktok and if you need to find it just make sure you go to one of my late later posts one of my you know last posts that uses the sound um okay that's it okay have a blessed day right back at you night um all right just reading all your last comments. Okay. Have a good day, everybody, wherever you are at. Mwah.